Everyone, everyone get your popcorn. Everyone get your popcorn. This is the Red Bull DRX documentary behind the scenes. It's like True Sight. True Sight. What is this? Shut up. Super documentary. It's going to go through all of the backstage of Deft and DRX winning the finals. This is it. This is going to be a banger. This is going to be a banger. And then we do variety after. Zeka. This was the best event ever. Ever. Fact. big finals here for the greatest organization in the history of league of legends t1 and faker versus drx there's a lot of behind the, the scenes stuff underdog run in world's history they asked me to be in this documentary but i didn't get back to them in time i didn't see the email for like two months and then they said it's too late <laughs> fuck it could have been i could have been in this but I didn't, I didn't have an agent and I didn't look at my emails. Oh, they're going all the way back to the LCK. Bro, in the LCK, DRX was like seventh. They barely scraped sixth, didn't they? Ah, the Sandbox series. This is the regional finals. Prince, Prince. To worlds from this region oh my god they've got behind the scenes from this as well what the fuck it is scripted there was almost no one that actually believed that the rx was going to do it yeah the sandbox was on match point though there were two one up King and this was a player that in 2021 spring was was quite good at times, right? He was never a standout player, but he was a respectable top laner that could really get some work done. Even at the start King of summer, and... I think he was the one player on the team that I thought was not amazing. They finished last place. Decent. Pioshek, as a player, when he's good, he's amazing and everything works. But when he's playing poorly, he doesn't make one mistake, he makes 10 mistakes and he shows it because he's a very emotional player. Zeka was a interesting choice for DRX because he came up on KT Academy. He was a player that went to the oh, he was on BLG. early on in his career and a lot of mid laners that directly go to the LPL generally stay there for a longer amount of time. DRX was able to identify that he was a player with a lot of Is that of aiming? Promise. Barrow in particular is really Was aiming on BLG? Always trying to experiment and draft. He watches a lot of other leagues as well, trying Ooh, to always what find the hell? new strategies. Deft. Deft in Korea, obviously, he'd been one of the best AD carries for uh, eight, nine years at the time. And he was also a player who went to EDG and got a really big fan base there. I don't even know if he feels personally like he was mechanically as good as he was at some of the highlight periods, right? Like 2015 or, or 2018. This sandbox series was rough. They were so close to losing game four, weren't they? Or game five was really close. Sandbox, on paper, from what we've seen this season, they should be the better team. It was game four, I think, no?
Holy fuck, we really are behind the scenes. Song. Holy coach authority, good. Russian Nami라는 어떤 픽이 굉장히 고평가를 받고 있었는데 저희 팀은 그냥 과감하게 안 하는 쪽으로. Like they've got their eyes on the Belveth. Wukong is what they use. They gave Evolution Nami. Yeah, they were match point. 상대하는 방법을 어떻게든 깎아 보자. 해서 그 선발전 기간 동안 정말 그 구도밖에 안 했거든요. 근데 되게 운이 좋게도 어떻게. 저희를 상대했던 팀들이 다 무시한 남이를 해줘서. This game was close, no? Yeah, it was. Kingslayer 이제 강코진이랑 얘기를 해서 과감하게 버린을 판단을 했던 게 저희가 선발전을 뚫고 올라갈 수 있었던 가장 큰 힘이었던 것 같아요. Another game five in Korean regional qualifiers. How many five game series did they have? Fucking hell. It is the way of Live Sandbox. DRX on the cusp of qualifying to Worlds and making it into play-ins. Can Live Sandbox run it from here? They stomped him in this game so hard. They're gonna get close to Tarm. Does get it, but the ult is off and a massive counter strike again. King and hits three of them. And this should be the ending fight. DRX are gonna push and go to Worlds as the fourth seed from the LCK. I cannot believe it. 그 되게 어긋나있던 톱니바퀴 같은 것들이 아, 딱 맞춰졌구나 그런 느낌을 받았던 것 같아요. 우리 팀 드디어 팀이 됐구나. <웃음> This team was so dog shit in the regular season. It was crazy how bad they were. Welcome in Mexico City. Oh, 애초에 월즈를 오래 이제 하기 전에는 한 번도 가본 적이 없었어 가지고 그냥 이제 프로 선수 생활하면서 한 번은 이제 큰 국제 대회에서 뛰어보고 싶다는 생각을 약간 하면서 이제 street food. 월즈는 모든 선수가 이제 가고 싶어 하는 꿈의 대회라고 생각해. Most people think that this team should absolutely go undefeated and be the first seed out of this group. Probably the most dangerous game is this one here today where they go up against DRX from the LCK. I think that's the big thing is obviously there's names like Deft on the side of DRX, DRX but yeah. uh, in terms of recent performance, the fact that they had just one spring, Xiaohu is, you know, the winningest LPL player basically oh, ever with five cool. titles, three MSI titles, like Holy. the king of spring DRX for a reason, DRX and to DRX have him DRX. in play-ins this early just feels insane. RNG was originally in MSI, but it was not a good team, 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 부담 되기도 했었고 긴장도 많이 했었는데. Tower, 이제 작년에 어, 
팀을 이제 RNG에서 제가 있었는데 RNG 너무 잘 파악하고 있어가지고 어떻게 나올지 너무 보였어요 전날부터 이렇게 이렇게 하면은 이길 수 있을 것 같은데 하고 했던 것 같아요. 네, beat the uh, RNG, didn't they? King and Aatrox, classic. Was beautiful. The tree does it, and RNG are getting dunked. Four members down, one remaining. And she was running for his life. I feel like we were the team. Super impressive, and that was when I uh, really kind of went, okay, okay, BRX, uh, looking good. That's fucking right. Oh my god, headshot. 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 No! That is the shot by Barrel. They 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 won it and they got through, right? Planes. Barrel gets the solo kill on Star Screen. Everyone thought planes was kind of easy though. With their experience in the LICK, DRX earned their place in the main event in New York. Despite entering as the fourth seed, they have surpassed all expectations by ultimately clinching the top spot in the rankings. Mad Lions aware. New York was sick. And there they joined uh, three other LCK teams, T1, Genji, and Dunmon, Kia. That was Doran. Oh, DRX 생각보다 경쟁력이 있을 수는 있겠다라고 생각을 했어요. 그렇게 그룹 스테이지에 올라왔는데 이제 로그가 상대였죠. 유럽의 우승팀 로그랑 맞대. 예. 로그 원 넷 베이비. EU. Time to put you two on a record. Rogue versus DRX. Let's get to some predictions. So a lot of people are going to call me biased, but it's hard not to predict Rogue in this situation. It is the group's first seed against DRX. That doesn't seem very hard to say. DRX. No, I'm saying Rogue. I'm saying it's quite comfortably a Rogue win. I feel Rogue's early game has proven to be extremely dominant. I'm confident in their consistency in their draft. And I feel like that they just have more lanes to play through than DRX. 그래서 처음에 이제 플레이 스테이지 치를 때만 해도 I think when they lost to Rogue, everyone was like, okay, they're frauds. 라는 얘기들이 많았던 걸로 알아요. 그래서 실제로 주한 선수랑 푸식 선수가 번갈아 나오기도 했었고 뭔가 정글러들의 주전이 정해지지 않았고 또 같이 게임하는 입장에선 둘다 굉장히 불안정하다는 느낌을 많이 받았었거든요. 그래서 뭔가 팀원들과 얘기할 때도 어뭐 no younger. 위험하겠는데 이런 생각을 저는 가지고 있었는데. Yeah, rogue. Peak EU at Worlds right there. Holy shit, everyone's muted. Oh, 
그때 좀막 감독님도 선수들도 좀 되게 힘들어했던 것 같아요. 이 힘들게 힘들게 <웃음> 싸워왔던 이 토니 바퀴가 다시 무너지나? 뭐 애들 애들 없으니까 하는 말인데 어떻게 보면 계속 이렇게 정글 왔다 갔다 바깥 쓰고 있잖아. 근데 진짜 좀 내가 더 잘해줘야겠다는 마인드 계속 가졌으면 좋겠어. 그냥 그거 좀 올려놔라. 그러니까 내가 말하고 싶은 건딱 그거야. 진짜 비오식 타임 베이비. 이 악무 한번 해보자. 못할 거 아니야. 뭐뭐뭐 뭐, 뭐 있어? 말해봐. 나 지금 늑대 먹고 있어. 늑대 먹고 있어? 블루도 거의 다음에? 아니. 블루 스타트 먹고. 블루 스타트 하고 늑대? 상대 인벌 올것 같아? 아니 안 먹었어. 재하가 진짜 많이 얘기해 주죠. 그런 동선 같은 거에 대해서 계속. Holy fuck. 평소에 쉬는 시간에도 계속 얘기하고 그냥 너 상대가 이거 먹어. He's just quizzing him. 막 이런 식으로 상대 여기 나왔어. 너 어디로 갈 거야? 이런 식으로 그냥 계속 그 섀도우 복싱이라고 하죠. 롤드컵 때 마음 가지면. Shadow box. I've never heard of that in league in my life. Shadow boxing with your jungler, with a good, because Mowgli was a pro jungler. Wow. That's crazy, actually. What the fuck? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the State Farm Analyst Desk ahead of our final game of the day. Another LCK LPL clash between DRX and Top Esports. Pioshik's back, and uh, Pioshik and Juan have been uh, playing hot seat with junk position in DRX. It's going to be so hard. New Shadow York boxing City, pathing. Theater. Put your hands together. You think DRX will win this game? I want to see how loud they get. New York, do you think Top will win this game? Oh, the Chinese fans in New York were crazy, man. Huge in this game, making sure Dracula's famous Draven couldn't take over. New York City, you will remember the day that DRX struck back against Top Esports. The TS 전에 창현이가 꽤 활약을 잘했거든요. 그래서 자기 스스로 좀 자신감도 올라가고 했던 것 같아요. 그래서 그 되게 뒤쳐져 있다는 느낌은 좀 많이 들었던 것 같고. 그래가지고 되게 뭔가 조금 열심히 준비하긴 했는데 그래도 표시기 형이 더 잘하는 것 같아서 네. 어, oh, then they have the head-to-head. They won, right? They came first. It's, you're right, it's... The RX! <laughs> awesome. Thank go. you so much. Who's it gonna be? EDG. <laughs> oh, the EDG quarterfinals were tough, man. Woof! <laughs> 선수들이랑 경기에서 붙는 게 진짜 너무 오랜만이어서 재밌을 것 같아. 팔강 준비를 하는데 스크림이 너무 안 되는 거예요. 경기 전날에 제가 이제 scolded my teammates. 지금 똑바로 하고 my 있는 goat. 거 맞냐? 이거 경기처럼 하고 있는 거 맞냐? 맞으면은 아니면 이게 뱀픽이 크게 잘못됐냐? 그게 아니면은. 우리 팀 내일 못 이길 것 같다 이런 얘기를 했었거든요. Hello everyone and welcome to Worlds 2022 for our final day. This series was nuts. Here at the Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden, Gen G now await the winner of our last quarter final face off between the reigning world champions EDG and the dark horse DRX and will be the team that DRX has to take down if they want to keep their world's hopes alive. They are our reigning world champions. They absolutely have the capability. So yeah, it's easy to jump to defending world champs for EDG. That's, that's a pretty easy tag. <laughs> EDG versus DRX was a incredibly cool matchup for a number of reasons. EDG used to be Deft's old team, so he was very impactful there. Deft saw his old teammates win worlds. 
사실 처음에는 이제 메이코 선수랑 스카우 선수가 우승하는 걸 봤을 때 처음에는 되게 축하하는 마음이 생겼다가 뭔가 갈수록 저 선수들은 나랑 같이 했던 목표를 이뤘는데 나는 Revenge Arc 점점 멀어져가는 느낌을 많이 받았어서 좀 힘들었던 것 같아요 제 생일이 항상 월지 기간 동안이었거든요 그래서 저는 월지에서 우승한 적이 없으니까 또 8강을 넘은 적이 없으니까 그냥 항상 지고 나서 보내는 생일이었고 기쁘게 보낸 적이 없는데 Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Not like this. Oh my god. <웃음> 억제기로 향하는 판단이 너무 좋았잖아요. 그 순간적으로 데프트 선수랑 텔레포트를 빠르게 찍고 넥서스를 공격을 했었는데 저는 그거 보면서 와 이런 생각을 했구나. 정말 그 넥서스를 치고 있을 때 저도 나 저도 모르게 박수를 쳤거든요. 근데 경기가 안 끝나는 거예요. 저도 뒤늦게 파악을 했어요. 상황이 어떻게 된 건지. 해설자분들께서도 순간 말을 잊지 못하셨잖아요. 넥서스가 갑자기 생성이 되고 데프트 선수가 크게 저항도 하지 않고 이지리얼이 서서 <웃음> 죽음을 당하는데 거기서 데프트 선수의 허망함이 그대로 전달이 저한테 되더라고요. 어떻게 보면 은 선수들이 제어를 할수 있는 부분이 아니라서 그런 부분들은 온전히 운에 맡겨야 되는 상황이었는데 정말 최악의 수가 발생을 한 거죠. They're getting their two of down from that man. 없지. Just thinking about it, if that happened in my game or in, in, in a normal game, where like you're one auto attack away from winning and then it doesn't happen and then you lose and you have to go back. I, I don't know how I would recover. And they're like, they just didn't care. Uh, he, played, he plays Draven in game three and he's never... Was the his first Draven game in competitive or something, wasn't it? And in game three, they were losing so hard. They were like 7k down. He's never won on Draven in his life and they're 7k down. <laughs> nah, it's fake, man. The difference, though, is Shirelia's dip. It is, of course, it's not good for now, but uh, you still know that... Oh, they're like 4k down, yeah, 4k. This game was hard. ...even more above that one as well. And they're going to walk away. Zek getting shut down to half HP. Rendon and pushed out. They're still playing in this fight. Oh, Fiora teeping in a mid to guarantee the kill. Renata ult going to land a Fiora, and they're going to catch a whole lot of damage. Scout has to burn his own. Will the re-engage look good? He's got it. He's shut down. A huge fight for death. He gets the auto he needs. Flandre is low, gets to repost it, but it's already a second kill in for Zekka. What DRX needed may have been found, and he's got to stack up the red. He's got to stack it and stack it and pull it, and it's not gonna happen. Three to nothing, DRX are back. 3세트 그 상대가 저희 팀 억제기 앞에서 한 30분 경쯤? 그때 저희가 한타를 한번 이기면서 이제 그때부터 이제 그 시리즈의 경기 이제 흐름 자체가 저희 쪽으로 많이 넘어왔다 생각했는데 Did you see that? The Enix were respawning? I think they were like, oh shit, not again. <laughs> 사실 스코어 자체는 2대 1인데 저희가 느낄 때는 진짜 3대 0 
으로 우리가 이기고 있다고 싶을 정도로 저희가 더 잘한다고 Imagine it happens again. That would be unbelievable. 되게 재밌게 했던 것 같아요. 그냥. And DRX stave off elimination here. They're gonna have to do it two more times if they want to stay alive in world. 갑자기 돌아오는 줄 알았네요. 재밌네. 우리는 항상 이렇게 올라왔어. 우리 저희 패패까지 한적 없는 것 같은데 그래도. 아 어, 맞는데 사실 두 번째 판 이긴 거니까 지금 8승승이야 답좀 순조롭다 많이 Top lane is really easy 이대로면 쟤네 답 없어 이거 나잘 크면 못 막아 아무래도 좀 다전제 경기나 좀 불리한 경기나 저희가 되게 어려운 상황에 놓였을 때 결국에 우리는 끝에는 승자였단 말이에요 이제 저, 저도 체력에 자신 있고 이제 제카도 체력에 자신 있어가지고 저희가 장기전에 좀 유리하지 않나 TP back in for Zekka to make this push. One that ends the game has to burn a stopwatch. Stays alive with a Jeje low. Attacked again by King and Flandre. Yeah, Zekka is going to play. Bailout back. They've killed off Skelly. They've killed off Skelly. They'll kill off Viper. They'll kill off everybody. And this Nexus is not going to be safe. They're going to take it. And DRX bring us to Silver Screen. Downers be dead. He got five solo kills that game. Five solo kills. Like it was really, really impressive to see. DRX march for the Nexus. Oh, Boaster's here. Maybe I copy the Zeka dude. Where is he now? Uh, he's in Hanwha Life. He's not doing too great. Secondly, Deft, it's been 2,942 days since you made the last semi-final. What does it mean to finally be back? Oh, Sedge. Ads? Should we pause for the ads? No. No, we don't pause. I don't want to ruin immersion. They need to learn the tech. ก็เลยเสียใจกันเนี่ยตัวอีกพวกเราก็จะเป็นคนที่ดีที่สุดที่จะได้เจอกันในชีวิตของเราทุกคนก็จะเป็นคนที่ดีที่สุดที่จะได
Atlanta was weird. That city was a bit weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. There was just weird, like, there was a big park, and that was it. I couldn't find anything. There was like four food places. And one was called Chick-fil-A. Oh, this was when me and Dracos got the duo cast the world semi. This was fucking fun. Oh, they were watching. I think T1 was a better team in Worlds. I think individually, if you look at the players, if you look at the mechanical execution, mm -hmm. if you look at how they play the game in many ways, I think they were the best team in Worlds. Peiko선수는꺾이지않는마음을가진선수라고생각해요왜냐하면대프트선수는롤드컵우승을하지못했고그가지지못한것을향해달려왔잖아요근데대프트선수는모든걸다이루었어요이미최고의자리에올라봤
The sun refuses to set on the dreams of death. In what could be his final year. I can't. I say king again, don't I? But after oh my god. Genji, like it was very obvious that the team was, okay. was good enough. Uh, and, and I was very, very wrong in my assessment of them. Uh, and I was very happy to be wrong. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Bro rhymed king with king fire emoji. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 경험이 이 친구들한테 좀 알을 깨게 나오게 한. Shut up. Okay, you don't have to hear me anymore. Nice. Best friends, nice and close. <laughs> Fakers like, huh? Some Peko is a good thing. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to 어느 정도는 아는 사이였지만 지금은 사실 그때와 시간이 많이 너무 많이 흘렀고 아무래도 경쟁자 입장에서 오랫동안 생활을 하다 보니까 좀처럼 따라잡을 기회가 없었는데 이렇게 이번에 결승에서 좀 그동안 당했던 거를 좀 복수할 수 있는 좋은 기회가 생긴 것 같고 월즈라는 기간 동안 항상 이 세상이 나 없이 잘 돌아가는구나 나는 이 세상의 주인공이 아니구나. 이거를 되게 직접적으로 몸으로 느끼는 시간들이었거든요. 근데 올해만큼은 뭔가 내가 세상의 중심이 된것 같고 <웃음> 세상이 나를 포함해서 돌아가는구나. 이게 느껴져서 너무 좋았던 것 같아요. Holy. Okay, cool. Let's roll camera. Ready, Daniel? Ready. Camera. Action. 아 진짜 꼴찌에서 여기까지 올라왔구나 우리가 그래서 그런 생각들을 제일 많이 했던 것 같아요. DRX going from planes and being one of the weaker teams even in the LCK making it to the world's finals is the most unexpected story in 10 years of competitive League of Legends. Oh no, not the press conference. DRX가 확실히 그룹. Oh no. Don't say it. 플레이인부터 굉장히 좋은 경기력으로 올라온 것을 저희가 확인했고 어, 비록 좀 평가가 낮은 팀이긴 하지만 저희는 이번 결승전 때 절대 방심하지 않고 기대라고 생각하고 있고 그만큼 더욱 더 열심히 준비할 예정입니다. 이번 DRX 전에서는 저희가 그냥 무난하게 3대 0으로 이기지 않을까 생각하고 있습니다. 저는 3대 0으로 이길 거라고 생각합니다. 저도 3대0 예측하고 있습니다. 저는 3대0으로 이기길 기대하고 있습니다. <목소리> 아무래도 제가 이제 학교를 일찍 그만두고 프로를 되게 일찍 시작했는데 뭔가 이게 웃기긴 한데 이 게임을 저는 <웃음> 그만두기 위해서 <웃음> 월지로 우승하려고 하고 있거든요. 이 월지로 우승한다면은 제가 정말 오랫동안 좋아하고 사랑했던 이 팀을 미련 retire, 없이 그만두고 He got Kana instead. <웃음> Alright, fellas, kick ass. Kick ass, hell yeah, brother. Meanwhile, no one remembers the EDG finals or who was on this team, Kek. Shut up. 내가 결승에 온 건가 사실. 이게 맞나? 체감도 잘안 되는데 이제 막상 딱 결승 당일이 되고 트로피가 앞에 있으니까 내가 진짜 다 왔구나 그런 느낌을 받았던 것 같아요. 스테디움은 packed. It was crazy. 
players it was so noisy we can lose here we go then on to some of game one of the world's Finals. What, I have to listen Order to myself? Ready to join in, but Barrel's made his way into the fight. Owner right. jumps in. It's secured by DRX. Now the fight breaks out. Pio's oh. coming right back in. T1 with a lot of move. Zekka tries to get the kill. Ben, 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 ben. Uh, and Zeus. here comes the end. Zeus looks for Q3. Zekka goes in with a stolen as he rolls. But it ain't gonna do a whole lot. They still got a little bit of damage. Bobby. 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 We'll find the fight and find the win in game one. Clean, calm, and collected the well oiled machine. See, losing the first game is always always useless. Uh, winning first game is always useless. 우리가 1세트 상대 성향을 보고 2세트는 무조건 이기는 뱀피고로 짜오겠다라는 그런 확신이 있었어요. 저희가 느끼기에. Do the coaches are crazy, you know? They have a plan ready saying they just lose game one it's fine. 사실 건이 형은 되게 신기한 게큰 무대를 가도 비슷해요. 뭔가 항상 사람이 비슷한데 그 형이 좀 결승 무대도 많이 가보고 뭔가 되게 게임 할때 되게 일관적이다. 그래서 뭔가 좀 대단했다. 대단하다고 생각이 들더라고. 위로 대놓고 가면 리신도 이렇게. 이렇게 너 여기 이렇게, 여기 이렇게, 여기 여기 이렇게. 여기, 이렇게 여기. 아니 아니지 이게 리신 못 지우는 게 여기 비에고랑 여기 사이 있을 텐데 얘도 이거 지우려면 사이 올려주니까. 배럴 씨 스타링 넘어 하도 도 잇. There's a Camille Fear. I think that's the direction that King and Will go in. There's a Hyperdinger as well for Barrel once again. I think they were scared of giving that over to Carrier on three and not having an answer in terms of having a pushing lane. Haimo Dingo do Groco, Bado do Groco, Mutan Champo of Sogaju, Konyo. Kuun as I saw the Ichobi Mata was in the rail, then Pichoguru. And for Barrel, it was his Heimer. Yes, Heimer supports many games that he played. And in general, for Barrel, just to pick and ban in the knockout parts. Because I know Barrel has a huge voice in that. I know he's very vocal about what he thinks. Man, oh man, it is not. Oh, they were getting destroyed already again. DRX wanted in game number two. Beautifully played from T1 in that top side skirmish. That when it comes to like really strong, we're gonna win mentality. I think T1 up until the finals was actually the best example of this because they were. Starting minute one, they would go in, right? Because they're like, we're better. We're going to win. And DRX had a stronger spirit, but in a different form, where they were like, we don't have to, we just need to make the one, we just need to find the one way, not the fast way. Beryl is such a legend. I'm just going to say it right now. Three finals appearances. This grenade across the top to land onto Oder to get the first kill. I think a Mikhail's came out from Carrier there on top of a cleanse. They were focusing so much on Kubuyushi. Keep your eyes on Beryl. This guy's 30% HP on Heimerdinger just walking up to T1. Baits them into him. Forces Zeus to flash to try to get the kill on the gap close. And then they turn it into another kill. Another tower. Look how much confidence this player is playing with. Oh Inhibitor respawning. I hate it. I hate it. Whoa. I love Beryl. Doesn't even what know he's there. But it's Deft who shoots the arrow onto Baker, gets the initial kill. Once the victor is down, the rest of the RX can clean up. And with that one single window, trying to flash it, it, trying to do it, trying to save it. Let's go. DRX rise to the occasion, and they will tie this series. They lose the soul, but they win the game. DRX clutch it out. Was clawed back by T1. Shut up! Ha ha ha. 감점 잡히지 않니? Yeah, 근데 전판 이렇게 실수했는데 이겼어 우리. 근데 감 잡았어. 감 잡혔어. 스토리, 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 스토리 하라고 했어 부터. 야, 우리 첫 번째고 두 번째 판. 야, 우선 털러. 첫 번째고 두 번째 판 이기는 거 느낌 보자. 아, 풀러 빠져, 풀러 빠져, 풀러 빠져, 풀러 빠져, 풀러 빠져. Kingen trying to frontline this, but T1 knows what they gotta go for. They're looking for the next test. They'll take it down. And T1 are on match four. I cannot believe it. Twice in a row.
I was talking about the smites. <laughs> 이겼었는데 막 게임이 끝나고 나서 막 환호 지르면서 서로 껴안고 막 난리를 치더라고요. 그때 그거 보면서 진짜 막 양수고 다음 판 무조건 이기겠다. Oh, we the next game no what happens. Coming into game number four, T1 leads us two to one. They do one win away from lifting the trophy, one win away from winning the world championship. 네, LOL이라는 게임이 예전보다 훨씬 복잡해졌다고 저는 생각을 해요. 예전에는 한 명이서도 충분히 캐리가 가능한 게임이었다면 이제 다섯 명에서 어떻게 유기적으로 움직이느냐가 가장 중요한 게임이 됐다고 생각을 하거든요. Faker's going in. Smoke is ready. Zaka getting himself back. Owners taken low. They're ready to keep the fight going. Kingen charges forward, but now the Mahokai sapling. The killing spree to the jungler of DRX. There's the follow up. T1 trying to stay together. Hostile takeover finds Faker. T1 on the round in the back of the pit. D R X 는 그런 부분에서 아주 좋은 모습을 보셨던 것 같아요. 정말 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 좋은 호. 이게 팀이구나. 라는 생각이 들 정도로 롤드컵에서만큼은 그런 모습을 제대로 보여준 것 같아요. 나이스, 나이스. 야, 가진 것 같은데? 오빠 가야지. 오빠 가자. 오빠 가야지. 오빠 스트레트라. 오빠 들어가자. One game to decide it all. Faker and Death combined have played over 2,000 games. And it's going to come down to one. The King is looking vulnerable. T1 was a nice point. Stop saying that, man. Dude, if I could go back, I would change so many things. The GOAT versus the Alpaca. It all comes down to this. Death really does have one bullet. One will have blue side. They'll select the stronger side. After the fourth game, I got messaged on Discord by Crepo, and he was like, bro, your casting is going really well. Just please stop using the word king. Like, you've used it four times in three sentences. And I was like... I was like, really? Did I? I rewatched it and I was like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, are you okay? You know, I was, I'll be honest, I had about four Red Bulls, so my whole brain was like, like buzzing. But uh, yeah. Dude, the coach takes it all. The respect comes back with a plan. Respect, coach. Respect. Dude, that's a coach right there. Authority from day one. Now they're all chill. They stand in the face of the titans of league with only one game separating them from crowning the world championship. I don't know if the people at home can hear this, but as the T1... I remember this draft so well. I saw the bands and I was like, what the fuck is this guy picking on four? Like, they, they fucked their support pick, haven't they? And what did they say? Nautilus is a safe choice. But Bard looks good. Is it Bard? I remember I was like, dude, and dude, I was like, what the fuck is this guy gonna pick on four? Like, it's so doomed. And then he picked Bard, and I was like, you see that one percent pick? I was like, huh? 선수는 조금 더큰 그림을 본것 같더라고요. 그때 T1의 뱀피기, 바루스, 빅토르와 같은 대부분이 뚜벅이 챔피언들이었고, 이제 거기서 바드의 궁극기로 그 창출할 수 있는 변수들이 워낙 많았기 때문에. 데프트 선수가 라인전에서의 손해를 조금은 감수하더라도 really 바드 픽을 선택하도록 한 거죠. 그 부분에서 데프트 선수가 나 자신이 아니라 조금 더 팀을 생각하는 방향으로 변했지 않나라고 생각을 해요. 
Barrel's getting locked down, but he gets away. Lots more Barrel almost died so many times. Not enough to kill him just yep. yet. PO ships coming around from the side. Kingan's on the flank now too. Oh, they're waiting on the TP to come in. Oh, in this fight, I was like this. I was like, bro, I can't focus. <laughs> of course they included it. They lose an objective that any other team, they'd be like, it's over. Like we lost, we lost the Baron, we lost the Dragon, we lost the Elder. It's done. And they would just be like, well, that sucks, guys. Let's let's move on. Well, we'll get him next time. And then, because of that, they had so much resilience, and especially because they played so many games in the knockouts of, of Worlds, I think that that was, to me, the biggest thing that set them apart. They got it out. The Drake secured. T1's Jungle. T1's going to the base. They're going to the Nexus. It was so loud. Like, the audience was going crazy. But what can he do? Q3, no damage just yet. Elder Drake, the Executor, Zayas is down. DRX, hold on. Kingen! 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 처음에만 했어도 그냥 제가 생각했을 때 이상적인 게이머를 만들려고 게임하는 기계처럼 살려고 했었는데 최근에는 그냥 제가 기계가 아니라는 걸 인정하고 DRX will march forward. Carrier wants to hit the wave. Kingen goes into the world ender. Kumayushi is dead. They have been doubted. They have been discounted. They have been dismissed. But DRX are your 2022 world champion. <laughs> That's crazy. <笑>そのオレは今日ギリ行きごはんで空気が。ボムを遭遇するとハノラじゃあんねんで。くすんがね、なんか急に、ゴミ捨てて、ちょうど飛んじごう。一旦、なんか、ジャンプ捨てて、
Fourth place. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Is that it? That was a really cool documentary. Cool documentary. Did you guys enjoy movie time? Yeah.